everybody, we're here at John Sanders Auto Repair. And we have a 1994 Bravo with a 5.8 liter. The customer's complaint is it's jerking, bucking, and has a loss of power. We had some trouble codes, but more importantly, what we found out, we started checking the fuel pressure, and the fuel pressure gauge is jumping around from 40 PSI to 15 PSI. Then it'll stabilize some. The specification with the key on engine running is, is 30 to 40 PSI. So when I first started hooking this up about 15 minutes ago and letting the engine just idle, the fuel pressure stayed at 38 PSI and it just, it just stayed there. So it was right within the range. Then we did a fuel volume test on it and relieved some pressure. Once I did that, now the needle's been jumping around from 35 down to, to 20, and it'll try to stabilize a little bit. So it's not supposed to be like that. Then we have a current ramp testing, where this is a picture of the fuel pump running electronically. And what it's supposed to look like is this right here is a good pattern. So the pattern we have has some spikes, has some drop downs. The longer it's running, the worse it's getting. The longer it's running, the worse it's getting. Then we have another issue. Where we scan for trouble codes and it has a code 32 for the EGR position sensor. Then 42 is a rich condition. So if it's trying to richen it up, because it's running so lean, if it's trying to richen it up, that could be a problem too. Now it's interesting, see it's getting worse now. It's going down to 15 PSI. And if I do a volume test where I'm gonna release some pressure here, Good amount of volume. And what we're doing, we're just putting it into a can here. So we're showing that the, the fuel pump has the correct amount of volume to run the engine. It wasn't until I started doing that testing and just letting it run that this needle started jumping around like crazy like that. So it's a little tip from John Sadler's. You have to let things run for a while. Start watching what they do. One thing we can do is we can shut it off and restart it and see what happens. So we'll shut it off. Now we're going to restart it. So there's some, something's going wrong with the fuel pump. It's not supposed to jump around like that. So that would explain why the customer has a problem. He's complaining, he's driving it wrong. He puts a load on it, it starts to jerk, starts to buck. Another shop replaces spark plugs, ran exactly the same. And so now it's acting up. After a while with the test equipment hooked up, getting worse and worse. So we'll just let it run for a while and see how it gets. So that's not enough fuel pressure when it jumps around like that. That's definitely not supposed to happen. So that's a little tip from John Sandler's. Just watch how things are. Be patient. Watch what's going on with the vehicle. Take your time. Watch your test equipment and you'll always find the answer. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.